Hello, uh, my name's Darren Morley. I'm the training manager for Dialacab, and I'm now going to talk you through the map facilities on our new terminal. One of the advantages of the new mapping system that we have is that the once you've accepted a trip, the map can be used to guide you in to your pickup. And um, once you have accepted a job and you've got your full job details on the screen, just press the map tab and then press the current location. You'll notice that you, you appear in the center from the GPS and the little red triangle indicates us there. It will then show a cotton line from your current position to the pickup. If I press the, the current position, it shows us our current position and the, our position will stay in the center and as we move along the street, the position will change. If you want to view where, uh, the, the shortest route to the pickup, you just press the, the pickup button and it will then show the pickup location. Press the current and it will take you back. If you want to see a full view, you can zoom in and out, and you can do that in uh, two ways. You've got a zoom in and a zoom out button there. There's four levels of zoom. You can then press the two destination button, and the two destination button will then show you the cotton line from the pickup to your destination. If you press the full route, it will show you the full route from the pickup to the destination. The map also doesn't need to be just used with a dial -a cab account job. There's a good chance that perhaps that you would, might want to use it when you pick a customer up off the street and it's quite easy to do that. Um, so if you were, a customer gives you a particular address that you want to go to, you can just press the search button which is in the right hand corner of your screen as you're looking at it. Now this system uh, predicts what you're actually putting in. So for instance, if um, I want to put a particular address in, if for instance I was looking for Ropemaker Street, it will gradually predict what I'm actually going to put in. It then gives me a number of different options. Um, so for instance here, if I'm looking for Ropemaker Street EC2, I then just select Ropemaker Street and it will then once again show me a cotton line from my current location to the destination. To get rid of the route, all I need to do is press the menu button and then press clear route and that will get rid of the information. So if you require voice guidance, there is no voice guidance on the A to Z mapping. The, um, you would need to switch to the nav by pressing the nav navigation tab and press start navigation and it will start navigating you to your destination. So the SatNav has a number of additional useful features as well. As well as obviously working the same as a, a normal SatNav, it has um, speed alerts and also um, camera alerts as well. Uh, but if you want to turn um, the alerts off, that's quite easily done. You go at the top of your screen, you can see currently, if I look at the map, then there's all the cameras in London, um, in this particular area at the moment. So if we want to turn that off, all we do is go to settings, and then you'll see that we have advanced settings at the bottom here. Uh, you can go, you then press alerts, and then you'll see on here that you've got auditive alert. Currently, the speed alert is switched off on this particular terminal. Um, if I wanted to turn the speed camera alert off as well, I just untick the box, and then it will only be a visual alert that will appear on your sat nav to warn you that a, a camera is, is coming up and that you, if you are um, exceeding the speed limit, it would have once again appear on the screen. Once you've set the settings that you require, press 
the tick and that will save your settings as such. One of the other features on this particular system as well is that you can toggle between the map and the sat nav so they are linked together. So for instance if we use the example of the Roadmaker Street again if I then want to toggle back to the sat nav all I need to do is press the navigational tab there and then I can then it will show the route on the sat nav and then if I need a voice guidance all I need to do is press the start navigation. If I needed additional uh, navigation with regards to um, stop points, so if a customer wanted us to stop en route, we can put the stop points in, add an additional stop point for instance, I then just tick that and then press start navigation. It will then take us to the first stop during the trip and then direct us onto our final destination. To start the navigation and the voice guidance, I just press start navigation and it will then appear on the screen. We have also have a volume button here as well and you can once again turn the volume off if you need to. If you then want to, if you would like to switch back to the map, you can do so and the route is still on there on, on the map as well. It doesn't lose the information even though I'm toggling between the two. So that's a brief synopsis on the map. If you need any further information, uh, please do, um, do not hesitate to contact the driver's line. Alternatively, we are going to have full manuals available for you online on the dialer cab website on the members site. Um, there will also be a link to uh, the Knowledge Master UK website where you can receive further information there as well.